the shelf upright. This piece right here, I had to nail it down to here, or support it somehow to keep it from moving around. And I couldn't drill up or nail from, from down below because there wasn't enough room. Remember, there's only a little shelf there, so I couldn't get a hammer in there and nail that. And I could have put some finished nails at an angle and toenailed it down. That would have been kind of tricky to do. I'd have to take a drill and drill it in there and be kind of hard to do that, put the nails in there. Well, I did it a different way and it's nice and strong. How do you suppose I did that? How did I get this supported down at the bottom? Think about it. I'm going to show you really quick what I was talking about on how to support this and how to nail this down without seeing your nails down at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to drill some holes in there. What I have to do, got some little four penny finish nails. It's got a little head on there. I take a drill bit and I match it up to the diameter of that nail head. And this one is about as close as I'm going to get. So I'm just going to put this in my drill. I got to hold the nail up there because I only want to drill it far enough to let some of the nails stick out. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to push that and I'm gonna let this stick out oh, about maybe a half an inch or so. Maybe three eighths. Okay. You can check that on there. Just bear with me. Okay. Now, I'm going to drill into here, just down to the end of the drill bit. I got it on high, and I want to check that with the head. Now see, I'm going to put this upside down so that the point is sticking up, right? Now it's not fitting. But it's just barely not fitting. So I can ring this out just a hair. I don't want to do it too much because I don't want to break my tip off. Okay. Now I put this in upside down. You rem and I'm, now I'm going to tap this down in there with my hammer. Like that. I'm going to go all the way down until where it stops. It doesn't, won't go any further than that because that's the only further I drilled. See, now I got the point of that nail. How do you like that? At the point of the nail there. And then I do this a couple more times. One there, one in the middle. more finish nails upside down make sure you put them upside down tap it in and you know you can't put it any further than that because the that nail head is fitting I was thinking about cutting the nail head off and then slipping it down in there but then the end of that could start pounding into that when I when I don't want this nail to come I don't want it to go in any further. You know what I mean? Well, that's it. Okay, then when I have it on the shelf, I put it right down on the shelf exactly where I want it. This is for demonstration purposes only. And then I would tap this down. You know, just to get the, the point of the nail indentated exactly where I want it. Then I can take a scratch all, tap it in there, tap it in, and then I would take this drill bit out and put a little bit smaller one in there. And 
just drill down this far. You know, stick the drill bit in just about all the way. The smaller drill bit, okay? And I just stick that in about that far. And then I would drill that into the cabinet. Then I could set this back down there exactly where it goes, slip it in there, and tap it home. And there you go. That's how you're going to support the bottom. Pretty slick, huh? Now you know. I'm telling you this just in case you want to put some shelves together like this and add them into an armoire and figure out how you're going to attach that bottom. And then for this support up here, I did the same thing with the little nails, the nail trick, and, and did it that way. That's a good way to support those and make it look all nice and finished. An armoire as a food pantry. What will Joe think of next? Hey, that's our project. I'll see you next time.